Another really cool thing is iterations or loops. You have a certain amount of items and you just go through each of them and repeat the same task. Let's say I have uh, a bowl of fruit. Let's call it fruit bowl. Oops. And inside my bowl, I've got a banana, an apple, and a mango. Now I could loop through. So let's say I have a UL with a class of fruit salad. And in there, I will now loop through each fruit inside my fruit bowl. See, if you say that loud, it, it kind of makes sense the way the syntax works. And now I can do an li. I have a, and we'll use the interpolation again, fruit. Check it out. Boom. There's my list, three list items with the three fruit in my fruit bowl. Loops can take a second argument, which we'll call i for index, and it's going to be the incremental number in the iteration. It starts at zero, it's zero index. So I could say something like fruit uh, i give me the, the index on each rotation. So now fruit zero is banana, apple, mango. Now, because this is JavaScript, you could just do i plus one if you want to list to start at one. 